Drink some water. Calm down. You were having a hell of a dream when I came in. It's about the baby. It looks like that's gonna be part of the territory for a while, nightmares, right? It wasn't a nightmare. I was holding our son. He was beautiful. I know it was a dream, but it felt real. I was holding our baby in my arms, our son. I could feel him. He had warmth, he had weight, and he was making these little gurgling noises. And then I realized that we never thought of a name for him. I know, we should have done it, but I don't know, it's my fault. <laughs> And then, uh, in the dream, you came in to take us home. And I was so excited about that. I just felt so at peace and happy. I don't think I've ever felt anything like that in real life before. And, um... And I just jolted awake, you know? And I realized... Hey, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to do. You know, you all right? it's fine. It's just a stupid dream. I've had bad dreams before. I certainly had my share of nightmares. Sometimes the good ones are the worst. I've lost a lot of people in my life. People I've loved and I've had. A lot of rough dreams, bad dreams, but the ones that stick, the ones that, that hurt the longest, are when everything's okay. You're with everybody you love, and whatever happened to, that took them away didn't happen, and you're thinking everything's great. Wake up, and you, 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 reality sets in, and all the pain, the loss, and the grief starts all over again. You're gonna have to take it easy, but I see no reason why I can't be released tomorrow and go home. That's good news, I think. Thanks. Yeah. Everything looks good. Remember, easy. The good thing, right? Good as new, like nothing ever happened. Except it did. Our son is gone. Maybe he wasn't meant to be. You never wanted him. You told me you wished it was Rick's. You know what? I, uh, I spent a long time denying my child, and I regret that. Part of me feels like he was taken away as my punishment, so... Don't ever say that again. And I don't know what good it's gonna do. It can't make up for how I was to you and how I denied my own child. The one thing that I keep, I keep thinking about in my head is my stepfather because he, he treated my mother like dirt and I don't want to be anything like that, son of a bitch. You, you deserve my respect. And I, I, want, I want you to have it. Respect's only gonna get me so far. You can respect me and still be cold to me. I'm done with that. I am done walking on eggshells, wondering what I've done this time to turn you away. I'm done with all of it. Okay, then we gotta just let it go, because we just lost a child. And, you know, it's like, out of respect to our son, we should at least be kind to each other. Is that even possible? Honestly, I don't know. But you know what? When you get released tomorrow, I want you to come home with me.